I'll get the chairs and stuff. Oh, geez, man. Can you imagine if somebody saw these? This week, we are giving away one of our headrest storage bags with the now unobtainium 2020 Apocalypse patch. Stick around to the episode to figure out how you can win all this right here. So, new stuff. We got some new stuff going on. So, last week, we released, released the cooking utensils set. So, if you wanted to get uh, cooking utensils that fit with your cook kit bag, yep. you can buy those on their own or bundled with the bag. We've got two of the medium first aid kits left. Um, the last two people, please, somebody buy them. I need to get rid of them. They've been, they're holding up desk space, man. <laughs> Just $20 off the old price, which is like $40 off the new price because price went up. So incentive people, buy it, two left. Yep. Uh, shop update, some, we've got some tool bags back in stock, but every, that's going really, really fast. Yeah. And people are signed up to be notified about but those, our, so those are going fast. Yeah, our turnover should be a little better from now on. We, we ran into a supply chain issue with the clear vinyl, and normally we order like one or two rolls. This time we ordered three. So we have three rolls of clear vinyl. We shouldn't have any issues with pouches. Yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah, we have headrest storage bags, <laughs> yep. headrest trash bags, oil, oil bags, and recovery bags. So yeah. If you wanted any of that stuff, Act fast. Yep. And as I said, the 2020 Apocalypse Morale patch is now unobtainium. It is it. We sold out. All 1,000 um, are, are gone. They're spoken for. Um, this is this is probably the last one that, that you'll see for a very long time. Unless, so. of course, you want to pay $20 million a kilo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for those of you who do like collecting uh, patches, we do have a new series coming out this year called the Biome Series. We'll be doing four biomes, um, kind of representative of the type of terrain we as overlanders like to travel through. The very first one coming out is going to be the wolf biome. You will be able to pre-order that. The forest biome, yeah. it features a wolf on it. Yes. It is the forest wolf, biome. Wolf slash forest biome. There's probably some places with so many wolves that, you know, it could just be a wolf biome, but I don't it's think true. that's what we were referencing in this don't case. Let me start that over. If you yeah. want. I thought it ended up kind of funny. <laughs> right. All right. But uh, we will have uh, four in that series. Uh, you can pre-order that patch starting tomorrow, a Wednesday. Um, so, but the definitely 17th. the 17th. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Oh, Okay. Yeah, it worked. We should celebrate. We should have got a leprechaun biome. Well, you need to like, cause you're, are you like Irish? Yeah, I know. It's, we uh, need to like. I don't. I celebrate. Are you gonna dress up as a leprechaun and just no. pass out like Gen uh, Guinness? No. Just a lot of Guinness, just for like after work. That would be pretty yeah, awesome of you. Nice. Okay. All right. I guess I didn't. <laughs> I guess I did not incept that idea into his brain. All right. So this weekend. I won't be around because I have school, but you will be I will for be. the Stop the Bleed class. Yeah, so this Saturday, Stop the Bleed class with Fury Training Concepts. Um, we've got a small group of people coming out for that. We'll definitely have a little bit of an update next week. Hopefully no one dies, but, you know, that's the whole point. we got to practice. So Yeah, there's... That, that took a turn. That was really dark. <laughs> also going on next weekend is a meet and greet with Coastal Virginia Overland in Virginia Beach. Um, link is down below and it's also on our calendar. That's just kind of open event for anybody in the uh, Virginia Tidewater area who wants to go to Virginia Beach and meet some other enthusiasts. And then we have the Overland off road. Oh, the Southeast. And then we have the South Re the South East. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get between West and East? Re uh, west? <laughs> Sorry. I put West in my bread to make your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the Southeast Overland and Off-Road Expo, March 26 and 27. That's in Florida. You're going. Yes. I that will should be, there. be a fun time. I, yeah, I've actually already had please bring the warm weather back oh, I with will you. Try. I've already had people reach out to me, um, uh, you know, saying, hey, let's meet up over down there and stuff like that. So there should be some some definite Scottle popcorn shenanigans, I'm sure. And then Southern Expeditions, Overland Challenge. Hopefully they took some inspiration <laughs> from all of you guys and all of your great ideas last week. So hopefully there'll be, you know, a storage challenge, a selfie challenge there and all of go. that jazz. That is April 23rd to the 25th in one of my favorite locations on the East Coast, URE, North Carolina. And coming up after that, Smoky Mountain Overland Rally, April 30th to the 2nd in Tennessee. And then again, the Big Iron Overland uh, Rally in, uh, it's gonna be in Kansas. Uh, and that is running May 14th to the 18th. I 16th, but yes, yeah, 16th, whatever. Whichever. Uh, I am going to attempt to be at all of those. I, I, I don't know how it's all going to work. It's a tall order, man. Um, but they're, they're spaced out enough where, where I think, I can, Rock it I think out. I can make it work. 
All right, if you know about any more events coming up, we love to share those. Please drop them in a comment down below. There we go. All right. CT's favorite part of the show, viewer comments. <sighs> Last week, we asked you guys, what are some of your best camp cooking ideas, breakfast, lunch, dinners, and snacks? D Stansby on Instagram said, for breakfast, we're gonna do a breakfast burrito with eggs, peppers, onions, and ground beef. For lunch, use the leftover beef and peppers and onions and make a Johnny Marzetti with elbow macaroni and a can of marinara sauce. Mm. I've never had one of these. It seems sounds a little bit sketch, but oh, I would try it. Yeah, we have to Google that later. Mm -hmm. Dinner, let's keep it simple and have some stir fry. I do love me some stir yeah. fry. And for snack, popcorn. Yeah. Love there it. Keenan Mo on YouTube said, breakfast, breakfast sausage sandwich with a hot dog emoji. <laughs> Lunch. Hot dogs with a hot dog emoji. Snack, ketchup flavored chips, or maybe a hot dog emoji. Dinner, tube steak sandwich, hot dog emoji. I notice a pattern. Um, I'm gonna suspect- It's a little hard to detect yeah, the pattern, not, but I have this sense that there's one there. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm not gonna call Keenan Mo out, but I just wanna say that, that that sounds like somebody who really doesn't, is not confident in their cooking skills. So hopefully he can learn something from some of these other ideas. I'm, but maybe and, he has good taste in, yeah, uh, maybe he gets dogs, the yeah. Hebrew Nationals, exactly. you know, all beef, you know, which are not bad, you know? <laughs> Family John on Instagram said, breakfast cooked on the stove would be a breakfast burrito and coffee. Burrito emoji, coffee yeah, yeah. emoji. Lunch, we pre-pack a sandwich, chips, fruit, and veggies. And for snacks, our Cheez-Its. Wink. And, and for dinner, it. cooked on the fire and embers is gonna be foil pack steak, Dutch oven cobbler, snake emoji. There we wow. Go. And the nightcap of scotch. Yep, the frog. <sighs> Never had any of the frog. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I would have about to butcher that really bad. <laughs> yeah, that's so. why I. Thanks it. for jumping the in Irish, and saving the my Irish butt. Uh, so the frog, um, I, I, it, I'm okay with it. It's a little peaty for my taste. It's a lowland scotch, so it's a little peaty. Like I know I what know, peaty means, it, but okay. It tastes like you're drinking mud water. Oh, yeah. okay. Dave, All right. <laughs> Dave Weber on YouTube said, "I can't cook." Ham and cheese on a bun, breakfast, lunch, and a dinner. So he's right up there with Keenan Mo, I guess. You know. I guess. But uh, watch some needs, backyard basics. He needs a lady to go with him because she uh, <laughs> that will definitely you know increase the pressure to learn. Um, Dan Mallory on YouTube said my best meal was an MRE, really yeah. cooked on a defroster and eaten without utensils on the fly. No roof, no doors, windshield down. Yes, army camping. Yeah. Cheers. Ben Wood on Facebook, this is gonna require me to slow down a little bit because he uses a bunch of emojis. So breakfast, uh, looks like it. it pancakes. Pancakes and bacon. Lunch, manifold burrito. Dinner, steak and... Potato. Potato or a hamburger and hot dog with peppers. Snack, psychedelic trail mix. Sasquatch secret recipe. Now, I am going to call him out. I commented, I commented that he needed to send some of the Sasquatch secret recipe for Sasquatch to try on the bonfire. Do you see us He's not telling me the it? secret recipe. No. He's not giving it like to me. We, you must give it to us. We don't, I don't need the recipe. Just, just send us some so we can try it on the bonfire. That's true. Then you could remain, the, it, we could keep, we can keep your secret. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna eat some, yeah. okay? Big Dog Outdoors on YouTube said breakfast, eggs, bacon, and toast, and coffee. Ooh, that sounds good. Hopefully lunch, not all whatever time. dinner. Lunch is whatever. <laughs> dinner, it's gonna be bear steaks and roasted potatoes. Yeah. Snack is no clue. Bear steaks? Yeah. Yeah. He, ah, yeah. Wow. Dang. Mm -hmm. The Halls on YouTube said breakfast, egg scrambler with veggies and bacon, coffee for Sarah and H2O for myself, lunch, tuna salad wrap, piece of fruit, hydration, additive, and more H2O for both. Dinner, hearty chili, gluten-free biscuits, and a hard cider for Sarah, and a non-alcoholic ginger beer for myself, snack, a macadamia pecan almond nut mix, and for Ruby, which I'm assuming is a dog, not their child, all four what servings of Rubicon? Purina Pro... <laughs> Plan and plenty of water and some of our delicacies. You don't feed dogs. You don't feed dog food to your to your to your Rubicon. Okay. James Blake on YouTube said for best meal is anything and everything you can through uh, in a tortilla, including scuttle popcorn. With a question, question mark. mark. Yeah. Negatory. No, yeah. I, Negatory. Uh, not not sure about Anna, popcorn. In and it. our winner yeah. from last week, chosen 
at random by a resident restaurateur squirrel. Uh, wait, which one is it? Is this Sasquatch? This is Sasquatch. I thought. No, you know, this is kind of this one? Okay. How can you not tell the difference? <laughs> That's Sasquatch. Oh, okay. <clears throat> is Big Dog Outdoors. Congratulations, sir. You win the kitchen cooking utensil set. We will ship that to you. Just send us your info. Yep. Uh, we will make it happen. All right. Now, what are we giving away this week, you ask? We're giving away a headrest storage bag with an unobtainium 2020 apocalypse patch. CT, what question are we asking this week? Aren't you going to describe how awesome it is first? People I, know what people know. People know what it is. It I mean, hangs it, on your headrest. It's, it's, it stores a lot of stuff. It, it's it, it's a headrest hangs on the headrest storage bag. You put stuff in at the store. It's probably like I don't know, six squirrels. I think is what we we calculated this at for. It, it like looks four about or five squirrels. You know. I would say six. Yeah. Would, it, you know, yeah. they get cozy though. You know, no, I mix them up. Six Can you cozy. figure out which one's which? Sasquatch? No, that's Sasquatch. Ah, Jeez. Talk um, on it. But yeah, so it's cool. You can adjust the straps on the back. It's got uh, molly loops down the back. The buckles come off. This is really super easy. Um, it's just big enough. You can actually fit a map book in here. Um, so I know a lot of people use that for that. So, so in honor of uh, talking about patches this week, we want to know what is your favorite patch? Ooh, I like um, this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So like... It, we want to hear the obscure story behind it. We just, mm -hmm. or, or if it's funny or whatever, we want to hear cool patch stories, fun stuff that you've found, that you've seen, and all of that jazz. Let us know in a comment down below your favorite patch um, for Overlanding or not. Mm. Um, and you will be entered to win the headrest storage bag for free shipped to your door. Okay. And, and if you have a patch collection, um, feel free to tag us in it on Instagram. Um, you notice we've been sharing a lot of those patch collections, especially ones that feature some of our unobtainium patches, like the Four Seasons patches, now the 2020 Apocalypse patch. Um, yeah. And so, then coming up this Thursday, guys, we have the What is Overlanding video. We talked to six uh, different people, professionals in the overlanding community who do training and all kinds of things like that. I um, mean, we asked them, what is overlanding? What has this thing become? What does it mean mm -hmm. to you? And um, God, so, some really yeah. neat stuff. And a lot of different answers. Yeah, surprisingly, not 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 everybody who, who answered the question, myself included, um, we didn't all actually have the exact same answer. So hopefully um, it'll kind of clear up uh, some of the debate surrounding that. Or open the or, question yeah, or, further. Or just make it more ambiguous. <laughs> uh, we'll see. <laughs> Well, that's all I have. <laughs> that's all we have. Again, new patch releasing tomorrow for pre-order. Those are in the mail. They're coming. Claim yours. Yeah. Um, Start tune your in collection. Next... It's going to be four total. Tune in next week for another exciting episode of the Blue Ridge Bonfire. I'm CT. I'm Dean. This is Sasquatch. That is Sasquatch. This is another squirrel. They're multiplying, ladies and gentlemen. We will all see you next week at Same Brog Time. Same Brog Channel.